What's up, family? Welcome to Speak. We got to start with the drama brewing in Dallas. This is the biggest show of the offseason because as the Cowboys boarded their plane to Oxnard to start camp, maybe their best offensive player was void of being there. C.D. Lamb officially holding out of Cowboys camp. No more important topic to discuss than the one we are starting the show with. He does not have his contract extension. And if I'm talking receivers, then who better than to talk to than two receivers that played in the league? Got a three-time Pro Bowl. We got a Super Bowl champ. Got a Super Bowl ring. Talk about 25 years I'm a Cali of experience. Brother, so boy. That's Deshaun oh, Jackson. On. That's James Jones. About 25 years of NFL experience anchoring oh. me into the receiver room to have the most important discussion you can have on a sports show today. C.D. Lamb holding out. Jack, starting with you. You played 15 years at wide receiver. Ooh. High a level. Lot of years. High level. Ooh. That's a lot of years. Of That's a lot of years. <laughs> okay, everybody, calm down. We're hey, not doing one on ones hey, right hey, now. Just so the top you know, everybody, just calm down. down. That's so you know. That's fade ball. <laughs> hey, let's get to it though, Jack. Let's get to it. Do you have an issue with CeeDee Lamb, Cowboys superstar receiver, holding out? Issue with it? Yeah, I, I thought the pitcher was going to still be up there. I have no <laughs> issue with it. My boy doing what he's supposed to do, man. Okay. You a dog, stand up. Hey, they it's deserving. You owe, they, they owe you. They owe you big time, man. And I think, you know, what he's doing, he's taking a stance, man. And I like the stance. You know why? Because the stats... And, hey, he ain't, they ain't got nobody else. If they don't throw it to him, who else are they throwing it to, man? He got everything going his way. But here's my thing, Jack. Here's my thing, because you sound like a receiver. And y'all know receiver. <laughs> Madonna? Not, yeah, a, not right. a prima donna. Not a prima donna. Just a Madonna. Not all a prima right. I'm, I'm going to take the prima donna. Just right. a Madonna. Now, here's the thing. If the Cowboys want to win the Super Bowl, James Jones, yep. if the Cowboys want to win the Super Bowl, Jack, you need your star players present. Right. He's going to get paid. Yeah. We know he's a, viewers. Is he's he? going Big to time. get paid. Big time. Well, he don't know yet. That's Can't why he's he just show up? No, 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 no. So let me tell you, let me tell you this gonna go. You want me there? Pay me my money. Mm. When you pay me my money, I'm gonna be on private. <laughs> All right, yeah. And I'm gonna get myself there really, 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 really fast. Mm -hmm. Pay this man his money. He is the second best player on the offense. Okay. I put Dak Prescott as the best player because Dak Prescott is spinning him <laughs> the football. Mm. So he's the second best player on the offense. But if C.D. Lamb is not there, this offense does not go. Yeah. He has to be there for this offense to go. If he's not, you don't get your best Dak Prescott. Okay. You don't get your best Coach McCarthy. Okay. You don't get your best offense, okay. which means you're not going to get wins. So he has to be in the building, and he has to be happy with his money to go out there and play football. If it is no money, I don't care about no offers. I, I don't care about nothing. Yep. I'm not showing up. Don't even bring my pads. You know how they have you. Pack your bags. <laughs> don't, so even bring, <laughs> don't even pack don't my bag and put it on the plane because I ain't coming until I get my bread. Let me get to this right here. I think this is a special topic for me. You know why? Because he's in my top five wide receivers in the NFL. As I got one. Be. I got Justin Jefferson. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see the list. Come on, bring him up. I got, I got number list. one, Justin Jefferson. I, don't know if I, I got like my boy list. number two. I got Tyreek Hill. Okay. And number three, Jerry's World. The man right here deserves that contract. Okay. Number four, Jamar Chase. Okay. And five, I got my boy in Philly, man, A.J. Brown. So let me let me let's look here. Yeah, I don't Besi like not but, seeing Devontae Adams in there. It's, but it's, it's all, all right, good. but he had a, he had like a year or two off. <laughs> Besides my boy right here, these other four dudes on here got some big time pockets. Yes. And my boy right here, he deserved to be somewhere in top three. Okay, that's my stance on it right there. Okay, I heard your stance, James. I heard your stance. Yeah. Let's head to the desk. Let's head to the desk because Lashawn McCoy, Eagles all time rushing leader, Joy Taylor, Doctor Joy Taylor, the brilliant Joy Taylor. I have yet to hear you all stances as we are entering into speak. Y'all could be watching any show. Y'all are hanging with us. We don't take it for granted. It's about to be the best show of the off season. Shady, let me kick it to you real quick. Two five. You got an issue with Ceedee Lamb holding out? No. <laughs> you should get paid. It's C.D. Lamb. You know, the funny thing is, everybody now wants to jump on this C.D. Lamb train. I've been on the train, mm. right? Yes, oh, have. He, he, yes, have I not? Have. Right. Yes, I said, when I see talent, I know talent. Oh, well, he plays in the slot. He don't play off slot. I, say, I don't care where he's at. Yeah. Give him the ball, he makes plays. The, the, the issue I have with even asking the question, should he get his contract or not, is because look at these quarterbacks, right? Let's think about it. Trevor Lawrence, who I think is okay, right? How the hell can he just jump and be the number one dude uh, Contract-wise, right? Mm -hmm. All these different guys keep jumping each other. When we talk about the wide receivers, it's their problem. Yeah. I don't know if you think Justin Jefferson is better than CeeDee Lamb. I don't know if you think that. I don't know if you think that. All right. This is what I know. They are both eagle as far as being elites. Yeah. So let's say Justin is better. But when you got two elite guys, right. you got to jump over that guy. That's how it works. I don't want to see dudes like Trevor Lawrence jumping over Joe Burrow or Patrick Mahomes because he's not elite. Yeah. Mm. But it happened, and nobody on TV nowhere talked about it. Mm. So, yes, CeeDee yeah. Lamb is that good. Pay that man. Here I know it. we love that Prescott and all that. Here I know it. we love all that. <laughs> but if Dak don't have CD, yep. <laughs> yeah, okay. Boy, getting to that, we'll talk about CD's money momentarily, but right now, CD's not holding out. Cowboys, they're going to Oxnard. We went to Cowboys training camp for a day or two last year. This is when the team is building for championships and 
Joy, as you notably say, they haven't won one in 30 or so years. Damn. You got 30? an issue with CD holding out? Damn. Think we're around the night. Is that officially 30 years? It's been some time. It's been some time. It's been some time. The 90s? They ain't been to the NFC Championship in 29. No, I have no issue with CD holding out. Uh, and I'm actually not surprised at all. This is, this is pretty common. We're going to talk about a lot of guys holding out or holding in, and mm. we'll do it again next year, and we did it the year before last, and we'll continue to do this as long as there are contracts and contract disputes in the NFL. This is what he's supposed to do. It's CD's time to get paid. He's been an elite receiver. There's been some talk early, and I, I've always been with you on that, Shady. CD is a number one receiver, nice, and he's more sure. than beyond proved his value to the team and his value to Dak Prescott. If you think that the quarterback is the most important position, I feel like CD is helping him out quite a bit. So he's an elite player. He's proven that year after year. This isn't one of those situations where he's had one spark of a year and we should be excited about it and he's asking for elite money. They need him. It's his turn to get paid as well. He's up. He's supposed to get paid. I have no issue with it at all. Mm. Mm. Mm, hefty. 2-5, you said that he should get that J.J. money. Yeah. Spice no, it no, up. No, no. He should get over that J.J. money. Ooh. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, because he's, he's the new guy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see how that is? He's, he's the, the new money. I, when I say that, you hear his response? Yeah. It's funny because when the quarterbacks, you don't have that response, uh -huh. right? We talking about if Tua, and yeah. I think Tua's good. Right. We talking he should be the number one paid because it's his, his time's up. He My thing is... If you think JJ's better, because JJ's really, really good. Yeah. Like, JJ is it's like that, all right? Yeah. But then CD's like that. My thing is, I don't care who's better. We are both as far as elite of the elite. Sure. So how it should work, yeah. you're elite, I'm elite. I should jump over you because it's my time to get paid. Okay. Right? Tyreek Hill. I don't know if you think Tyreek Hill's better than him or not. Yeah. If it's time to get paid, he should jump over him. But hold on, Shady, okay. because I listen to you when you speak. I'm privileged to sit next to you every single day for the last two I years. I know some money, man. You know I know some you money. You do know bread. You do know bread. Know how to make it? Chicken. And you know how to lose it. <laughs> uh, Shady, but Be you told easy. me this, bro. You said when Adrian Peterson was up yeah. you, and Arian Foster was up, you said, now look, I got to make more than Arian Foster. With all due respect to Arian Foster, mm -hmm. I got to make more than Arian Foster. Yeah. You said, but Adrian Peterson, he liked that. Mm -hmm. He won him once. Should CeeDee Lamb not look in the mirror and say exactly what LaShawn McCoy said? You know what? I can make more than this dude. I can make more than Cooper Cup. I can make yeah. more than A.J. Brown. I can make more than uh, Devontae Smith. But mm. Justin Jefferson, he liked that. Wait, are they in the same class? They are. Hold they on. Are. Me and AP in the same class. He was a first rounder. I was a second rounder. What that mean? Okay. Oh, that? Let me get. Let me get to it. The second thing was around this time, AP had Russian titles, Russian titles, almost an MVP, Office Player of the Year. He had all these different things, and I only had. I had two good years, so I was a rookie. I was just playing, I was just, what, 700 yards, wasn't a lot. My second year, I had about 1,200 yards, I started getting busy. My third year, all pro, Pro Bowl, mm -hmm. you name it. Yep. So now, I, I, I got into my stride, where AP, he's been doing it for a while. So, and then, I had Drew Rosenhaus, one of the best agencies of all time, y'all know that. Mm. I could have easily said, you know what, I'm gonna sit out, and I'm gonna fight this thing. <laughs> AP, he a dog, I'm a dog too. I could have played that game, yeah. but I was okay with that. I was okay with being the second highest paid. Yeah. I mean, what am I, like six, seven all time? And six. Highest paid six, running backs? Seven, Huh? Somebody, somebody just passed. Somebody just passed me. Uh -huh. We did just do this. But, then, but, but, not <laughs> but I was okay that, with that. James. But not only that, I understand where Shady's coming from because if it's Justin Jefferson and Nico Collins, just a, say a number okay. two receiver, mm -hmm. he should not, if he's up, he should not pass Justin Jefferson. Th that doesn't mean he's not a good player, but he's not a, all pro. He's not a offensive player. He's not in that type category. C.D. Lamb is putting his numbers right up there with Justin mm. and saying, these are better than Justin's numbers. This is better than Justin's number. Oh, you know what? I'm an all-pro. He's saying all this stuff, so I'm an elite receiver in this game, which means my turn is up. I should jump him. Jamar Chase is going to look at them the same way and say, I'm one of the top dogs in this thing. Yes, I see CD yes. and Justin Jefferson get paid. I should jump them because I'm in that ballpark of the best receiver in football. These quarterbacks is at the to bottom 20 and they get getting paid. number one I money. Question. I got a question for Joy Taylor because it's a lot. I'm hearing you, Jack. I've heard you, James Joins. I've heard you. But y'all are speaking with a little more emotion behind it because y'all were all in these situations, right. fighting for checks, fighting for big checks. But Joy, do you think that the athlete or that the receiver should get paid because of how talented he is or how valuable he is to the franchise? Because we'll talk about that with Brandon Ayuk okay. later. There's a difference. Okay. How talented he is or how valuable he is to the franchise, because there is a difference there. So you're saying the woman is the non-emotional one? <laughs> That's not what I hear. It's not what I hear we do. Um, well, in this particular case, and in the case of the elites, the talent actually translates to being the most valuable. Yeah. 
So not to say that Brandon Ayuk isn't extremely talented, but he is. It, CD talent is also of extreme value. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not necessary. And, and talent, like, how do you measure talent? All these guys are extremely talented. Like, you got to get pretty far down the list before we're like, eh, there's a talent disparity here. Maybe this is the quarterback. Maybe this is the system. For the most part, the elites of the elites are both talented and extremely valuable. And in the case of CD, that's the case. Where I would agree with Shady, and, and, and I know Shady can speak for himself, and he just did, but you are saying there is a gap. There's, there was a big enough gap between you and AP that even if you wanted to cause a little bit of a problem, it was more reasonable for you to say there's a big enough gap here that they could push back yeah. with reason. Mm -hmm. There's not enough of a gap between JJ and CD for CD to to say That's a good point. I should be the highest paid. Yeah. Not because JJ and him, JJ's that much better or you prefer JJ as a receiver over CD or whatever, <laughs> oh, top 10 list, none of that matters. Their numbers are almost identical. Yeah. So if that's the case and he's, JJ's been paid and now it's my turn, I can jump him because the gap is not as big, respectfully shady, <laughs> yeah, yeah. between AP oh, no, and Shady yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time in which he was paid. So when we're talking about the quarterback scale, which is obviously a completely different conversation in world, where guys, to James Point, who are way down the list, are jumping to being the highest paid player in the NFL, yeah. even though they are not amongst the elites of their position, that's paid differently. If CD was holding out and he's further down the list as a receiver, mm -hmm. then that's the conversation of, okay, you slot like in here. Yeah, yeah, top, yeah, top, top yeah of course, but Justin, just, Justin's making the most at 35, then AJ, then Amon Ra and Tyreek are making the same. So they're at 35, 32, and then Amon Ra and Tyreek are at 30 a year. So he should jump, JJ. Here's my thought, Jack, this one for you, because um, you, 15 years. Yep. 15 years is a long time to do anything. Like it's, it's, it's a long time. It's, just, it's a long time to breathe. Back heavy. Like 15 that back years. Heavy. Uh, Jack played in the league for 15 years, so this question is <laughs> specifically directed at him, and I can't wait for you to answer James Jones' follow-up, Shady follow-up as well. There's stats, and then there's talent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You play with a dude, and he's a, he's a friend of mine, so I'm not going to disparage his talent, but I'm just going to bring it into the equation. Uh, Alfred Morris, mm -hmm. running back for the oh. Washington Commanders. Don't bring that name around him, please. But the reason I say that is Alfred Morris had a 16, <laughs> he had a 1,600 <laughs> rushing yard Ooh, season. Right. 1,600. Not bad, not bad. Right. Not he had a, bad. He had a 14, has nothing though, you know. He had a 1,400 rushing yard season. Right. Right. Not the, bad. Name, the name not that big. Though for it. Not at all. Sixth yeah. round pick, I played against him in college. He was not that talented. <laughs> right. But in the Kyle Shanahan scheme, yeah. crazy stats. Mm -hmm. There comes a point where you can't just walk up there and say, hey, look at my numbers. Right. Because we can also turn on the tape mm -hmm. and say, we know your numbers, but also, you're not that yeah, talented. Yeah, but where was CD drafted? Again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not applying that to, 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 to CD. I'm, I'm right, setting right. Jack up for this question. Yeah. Because I say that to say, like, just because CD has Justin Jefferson numbers, right. asking you, I'm deferring right. to you on right. this when I have my own opinion, yeah. can CD walk up and say, I'm JJ? Mm -hmm. He got JJ numbers. I get all that. This, but can he walk up and say, I'm JJ, pay me like JJ? This is the point I like to make right here, and this is a great point. I feel like valuable to the team. If we look at Ooh. CD how valuable he is to the Cowboys compared to how valuable Justin Jefferson is to the Vikings, I would, I would think it's fair to say he's mm -hmm. maybe more well, valuable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have Jordan Addison, he's a, he's a guy, but I wouldn't put him at, you know, Justin Jefferson's size, right? So as far as C.D. Lamb, I feel like the numbers set up alone, mm -hmm. since he's been in the NFL, he ranks five in, among every stat, right? Mm -hmm. Statistically, I, I like to say C.D., he plays a little different, but he has the same style of play. It's just, I feel like... Justin Jefferson makes it look more flashier. He's more highlights. He's a dog. You know, he's making a gritty. He might not have the big plays, but he's making the big plays, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, nope, 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 nope. No, hold up. 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 Hold when you say things that are so smart colloquially, I want you to make oh, that make sense you, you, for the viewer. So <laughs> he makes the big plays, but I don't know if he makes the big break with the breakdown. What you so saying? So I just think he can be a little more consistent. His hands is a little unsure. That doesn't take that? the credit. CD, 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 CD. I feel like in the playoffs last year when they faced Green Bay, him and Dak Prescott didn't seem to be on the same page a few times. A couple drops in crucial moments. But as far as the player and the body of work is there, I just feel like the valuability of them, him being only in only uh, one game he's missed. Yeah. Seven. 71 oh, he's, games, he's, he's, yeah, that's crazy. he's durable. 70 games, yeah. right? So durable, right? And the physicality he's have, he's proven. And I just feel like he's very valuable. I mean, without him, we just talked about it. Who do you have? Yeah, but, and, I, and I think that's the main thing. Because you said talent and valuable. Mm. And he's both. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Justin yes, he Jefferson is. is both. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm coming up to the table with that. All right, mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson may be a little bit better route runner than me. Right. He ain't what I am with this ball in my hands, though. Mm -hmm. Turn the tape on on that. Y'all want to talk about turning the tape on? Turn the tape on on that. So exactly. it's just, they're so equal and so different mm -hmm. at the same time with the way they play the game, yeah. but they're so valuable to their team. This is not a Brandon Ayuk situation to mm -hmm. where, Kyle, you're looking over there, oh, we still got Kittle, we right. still got Debo, we still got McKinney. This that. is your offense, you and Dak Prescott. Mm -hmm. That value is there for him, and the what? talent is and there, you got to pay. It's like, like, and no disrespect to the to the Vikings, right? Mm -hmm. But they got they drafted a rookie quarterback, and normally when that happens, it's not a good thing. Yeah, the team is not tough. in a good place. Okay. The second thing is like, yo, the Dots, we are winning. Yeah. And Ceedee Lamb is a big part of that. Part. And the third thing is, it's funny how we talking about. Is he talented enough? Or is his value worth it? Mm -hmm. When we go to these other players and quarterbacks, <laughs> we don't never talk about that. Yeah. We ain't talking about how good Tua is compared to Patrick Mahomes. We, we don't top. talk about how, how good Trevor Lawrence is compared to Josh Allen or Joe Burrow. Yeah. We give them boys that money. Yeah. Jordan Love, we had a conversation two days ago. Mm. Yo, should he be the highest paid quarterback in the league? He had one good year. Right. I love the kid. I think he's really, really good. But we're not having Too the same conversation. This is why I, I, this only part I hate about the NFL is this part where we put the quarterbacks like in a little box and we put them over here mm -hmm. and everybody else has to figure it out. Right. Why are we even talking about if CeeDee Lance should be the highest paid wide receiver in the league? Mm -hmm. He got the numbers, he's good enough, he has the value. Yeah. Pay that man. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.